Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, Kaal la ilaha illa huwa ba shem ya shai ba shem wa kha kudash, which means give our praises to the heavenly Father ya huwa and his only begotten Son ya huwa shai, which is our Lord the Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The third masana kabbal la has kain shai as Allah, which means give our honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and who will. And Shalom wa ahal ba khaya shai as Allah, which means peace and love. To the luck of this way, and come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh. Some more shower in that lesson. I'm gonna brought out nine from the Jim Memphis account. Basically, this lesson is again into that the Lord, uh, Yahweh, some more shower in the kingdom of man. So, um, I'm just gonna get into it for the um, really just I'm gonna come back. I'm on lunch break, you know, just you know, that's just gonna get into it, you know, Lord, you know, be edified. So, I'm gonna start with Daniel 4 and 17. This matters by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruler in the kingdom of men, right? That the Most High ruler in the kingdom of men, you see? So everyone got to know this. Even um, he ruled these, um, no, let's, let's just, uh, let the scriptures we'll talk in Proverbs 16. And uh, bear with me. 16 and... Uh, Nine, a man's heart divides his way, but the Lord directed his steps. So, hey, so the Most High control everything. He controlled the, these kings. He controlled Sleepy Joe. He ruled in the kingdom of man. He set up one, he set up another. That's the scriptures say. And let me see, this precept just came to my mind. Jeremiah 10, 23. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walk it to direct his steps. So, hey, so the Most High ruler in the kingdom of man here. You see? So let's go back to Daniel. You know what? Let's get Proverbs 21 and 1. It said, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. It's the rivers of water. He turn it with whatsoever he will. So that's the point. The heart goes back to the mind. Remember, the, uh, like it's saying, Job 33. Job 33 and... Uh, it started 14. For the most I speak it once, yet twice, yet man perceive it not. In a dream, in a vision on the night, when deep sleep fall upon man, and slumberance upon the bed, then he opened the ears of man and settled their instruction, man. So the most high will in the kingdom of, kingdom of man. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. You see? Because you got to go to sleep one way or another. <laughs> so let's go back to day 4.17. It said, this matters by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruler in the kingdom of man and give it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the basis of man. And guess what? The basis of man is ruling now. Esau Edom. The book of Job 9.24, it say what? Job 9.24, it say, it say, Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and that's the basis of man, the wicked. East of Edom. You can read um, Malachi the fourth chapter, Malachi one and four. That's a call on the border of wickedness. So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the just the earth, and not where and who is he, man? So the basis of man is ruling now, man. You see, he gives to whomsoever he, he will, man. So hey, so the Most High rules these kings, these kingdoms, man. The Mosai is behind this, man. So right now, the Mosai, Yahweh Mosai, gave this kingdom, this earth, into the hands of Esau, man. He ruling this uh, earth right now, man, in wickedness. This goes back to what's the um, uh, Revelation, the 20th chapter, he shall be loose for a little season. And we're in that little season now, man. The, but this just shows that the Mosai ruling the kingdom of man, man, to, for his will, for his purpose. Let's get Jeremiah... Um, let me see, 27. In the book of Jeremiah, 27, 5. I have made the earth, the man and the beast that are upon the ground, by my great power and by my outstretched arm, and have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. So, wait, right, like I say in the NLT, with my great strength and power, powerful arm, I made the earth and all its people and every animal. I can give these things of mine to anyone I choose. So on um, both sits and now 
have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant? And the beasts of the field have I given him also to serve him, and all nations should serve him and his son and his son's son until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings should serve themselves of him, man. Meaning what? Till his time is up, man. Like I said in the NLT, all the nations will serve him, his son and his grandsons, until his time is up. Right? And that was the Babylonian. What came? Well, who ruled after the Babylon, Babylon uh, Empire? Persians. Medes and the Persians, man. That's Daniel the, uh, uh, the seventh chapter. The statue, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. <laughs> you see, let's get Daniel 2 and 21. Real quick. And he changed the times and the seasons. Let's start 20. Daniel 2 and 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of Yahweh Shemashah forever and ever. For wisdom and might are his. He changed the times and the season. He removed kings and set up kings. And that's the point. <laughs> you, you see, he, he can remove. And Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar understood that. <laughs> I just brought out Daniel 4 and 17. You see, the most I turned him to a beast, a wild beast, man. Then put him back on the throne as a king, man. So right now, the most I got Esau with him, <laughs> you know, it's a king of the earth right now, man. And this is time to rule, but the, guess what? It's it's for his purpose. You see? So he changes the times and the season. He remove the kings and set up kings. He give him wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. You see? So the earth was given to the hand of the wicked. You see? So let's get um let's get um Psalms real quick. Psalms um you know what before I get Psalms, let's get Proverbs. Eight and um uh, uh, let's start at fifteen. Proverbs eight and fifteen. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth, man. So by the Lord the kings rule, man. Why could the most have ruler in the kingdom of man? That's plain and simple. And like it's Psalms, get ready to close it out. Psalms 75 and 6. For promotion coming neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh Shemashai is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. You see? The most high, he say on uh, NLT, he decides who will rise and who will fall, man. And guess what? <laughs> and Melga about to fall. You see? So right, man, let's get on. Um, let go to the book of Sirach real quick. Sirach 10 to 4. Lock this door. Sirach 10 to 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. In due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And that one that is profitable, profitable is Yahweh Shai, his kingdom, man. That's the time we're coming into because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. They said the saints of the Most High should take the kingdom. <laughs> you see? Let's jump over to 18. And 3. Who, so what 18 and 3. Who govern the world with the palm of his hand. And all things obey his will. Right? All things obey his, obey his will, man. He ruling the kingdom of man. Revelation 17 chapter say, uh, they should hate the whore. Let me see. 17 and, uh, let's start at 16. And 10 horns, you know, start at 15. And he said unto me, the waters... Which that saw us where the whole city of people and multitudes and nations and tongues and that whole in Babylon the Great. You know, America, man, if you can receive it. And the ten horns which thou saw us upon the beast, these should hate the whore. Right, these should hate the whore. NATO and the EU, America, allies, they're going to hate the whore. America, man, and we're seeing that now because prophecy, this for his will. They should hate the whore. And shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire because the miracle again destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You see? And that's prophecy. <laughs> um, 17. For the Most High had put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to give. So, like for the Most High, I read this again, Revelation 17 17. For the Most High, Yahweh Shemash had put it in their hearts, meaning their minds, to fulfill his will. And to agree and give that kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Mosai shall be fulfilled, man. So this, so that's it. You know, that that says a lot right there. You know, I can end it right there because Mosai ruling in the kingdom of man for his purpose, for his will. It said that on uh, day of wicked, it uh, it was off, man. 
you know, unto wrath, man, unto judgment. So, hey, Lord willing, I hope it was edified you going in on that, that the, that the Lord will in the kingdom of man, he control these, control these kings. He, like, like now, he controls uh, Sleepy Joe. He control all the presidents before Sleepy Joe. Moab, and everything. The Most High will in the kingdom of man. He he in control. This is the Most High plan. And the Most High plan is to destroy this place, man. You know, to set up a righteous rulership, which is Yahweh Shai. In due time, he will set up one day possible. You know, so with that, once again, give our praises, honor, glory to Yahweh Shai, 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 Shai,